our finger millet experiment is coming along really nicely. I didn't expect too much from this, to be honest. We had hopes, but we didn't know what we were getting into. But it's really looking good. Here, we've got a beautiful looking field here, even though we've had almost no rain during the critical period. It is finally starting to form the grain, which is this beautiful little grain here. They're funny shaped like fingers, um, but they are producing, so we're happy to see that. And they're tillering really nicely where there's some nutrients in the soil. So we've had up to 15 seed heads off of a single plant, which is really great considering that especially, I mean, this has been a really, really poor year. So we're hopeful that this is really going to be a good thing for this area um, as far as, as food security goes. Look, even in a terrible year, it's done really well. You're not going to get the volumes off of this. I mean, very small grains. You're not going to get the volumes that you would off of corn, but far more than what we've gotten off of corn in this area this year. So that excites me. And look, I think it's just going to get better if there's more rain. My one worry yet that we haven't crossed is that the seed-eating birds are gathering together in big flocks right now. And so far, they've paid this no attention whatsoever. They've been much more interested in the the grasses. So we hope that stays true until we can at least get this mature enough to harvest it, which looks like we should be able to start doing that in the next week or two. So if the birds don't mind, don't pay attention to it until then, we're going to have something really exciting here.